Okay, let's see if AirServer is running. Click on the arrow and see if you see a small white icon. It's not here right now. So we're going to go to our Start menu, All Programs, and select AirServer Universal. And we're going to launch that application. Now if we go back over to the small arrow, we should see the small white icon. That's the AirServer icon. And by clicking on that, we can access the AirServer settings. In settings, we need to make sure we have the latest version. So we go into the Advanced tab and check for updates. Hopefully you're up to date. If not, you can go ahead and run any updates that are available. We can also use those settings to change the name of our computer as viewed on AirServer using this field right here. And we can add an optional password to the AirServer to protect other individuals from accessing our mirroring capabilities. You certainly don't have to do that though. When you're done, you can close that up and your computer is ready to go. We need to make sure that our iPad has the latest software running in order for AirPlay mirroring to work. In order to check that, we need to use our Settings app. Now, you'll notice the little red number one notification in my Settings app. That tells me that there's currently an update available. Here's how we'll install it. Launch the Settings app. Go into the General tab and into the Software Update option. And you will see the software update that's available and tap Install Now. You will have to agree to the terms and conditions and then the update will begin installing. Depending on how big the update is, it may take a while. Now that everything's updated, it's time to mirror our iPad to our computer screen. Simply swipe up on your iPad from the bottom of the screen and tap on the AirPlay button and select the classroom you'd like to AirPlay to. Make sure the green mirroring button is on and your iPad screen should appear on your computer screen. If you're connected to a projector, it should appear on the projector as well. Now you can walk around the room and work on your iPad and whatever you do will show up on the projector screen. If you have any additional problems with mirroring, let us know. We'd be happy to help out. Thanks.